Hello, welcome to Pilotfly. My name is Marcus, and today I would like to show you the features of the Pilotfly H2. The Pilotfly H2 is our new one-hand gimbal and a very most advanced gimbal on the market with integrated two integrated EMU sensors and on each motor encoders and comes with a 32-bit LXMOS chipset. The handle has an integrated battery for an operation time up to 26 hours and a joystick, four-way joystick to pan and tilt the camera and the mode button to change the modes. I will tell you later about the modes. On each side of the handle you have a quarter-inch screw hole so you can mount, mount it on a chip or on a tripod or ex an extension arm for an external display, for example. The yaw axis has no limitation, so you don't need to worry about twisting or damaging the cables. And the roll axis as well has no limitation. This gives you a very high flexibility to mount also cameras like the Panasonic the GH4 with the flip screen so you can turn around the roll axis and mount it on in this condition the GH4. On the right side there is the power power switch we power on and we start with the first mode it's called the follow mode. The follow mode means that gimbal or camera is following your movements left and right, up and down, but not in roll. Double click the mode button. You will have the tilt lock mode, so camera stays in the position while panning is still possible. The third mode, you press three times the mode button, is the lock mode. All three axes are locked, camera stays in the position and no matter which direction you are moving the hand. The fourth mode is our new mode, it's called follow roll. You need to imagine the first mode, follow mode, is following for tilting and panning but not on roll and the follow roll mode means it's following, it's following also on roll. So you press four times the mode button and if you're driving a roller coaster or if you have an action scene where you want to get the curve then use the follow roll mode and camera is following the curve. This gives you a much higher versatility and flexibility for your video footages. The fifth mode, if you press five times, we call it home move. So if you're somewhere and if you want to go very fast back to home position, then press five times and gimbal moves back to home position. This feature, home position, is only possible in this condition. If you, you, if you flip the roll axis to the other side, then this feature is disabled and not, and not working. So you also can use the gimbal in inverted mode. Just flip around the handle, power on, And then you can use the camera in inverted mode for a bottom view or any other condition. In this condition, in inverted mode, you also can change the modes, they are also working. As I said before, roll axis has no limitation, so you can turn around the handle and you have no limitation. 
the yaw axis has also no limitation so we have a 360 degrees angle for yaw as well The H2 one-hand gimbal can be also used with a two-hand handle. So you can remove the one-hand handle and attach the two-hand handle, which can be purchased as an option. A two-hand handle has also the four-way joystick and the mode button. And in the carbon fiber tube there are four integrated lithium-ion batteries which can be removed at each side when you unscrew here and on the other side and on this side there is the power button. When you detach and mount the dual handle on it or attach the one hand handle on it then please ensure that it is always powered off. Then unscrew it from the main unit Check that the pins are in correct direction and then tighten up the screw again. Then power on on the power button and then you are ready to go. Each mode can be selected via the mode button and as I said before, also joystick for tilting and panning. You also can turn around and use it upside down. Or in this position. Everything is possible. Okay, thank you for watching and hope to see you soon again. Bye!